to you. We always been solid. And I'm gonna keep it real. Nah, you just said we, a we, whole bunch of extra. Hey, we, so that ain't hey, we solid. Are not the same. Know, look, hey, know. look, 21. I don't know. I guess 21. Listen you to me now. You nine friends now. Listen to me. To put on Listen the show. Listen to me, bro. But I ain't I without met you. Bro. You been real humble. Me and you both know. If you were standing in front of me right now, you wouldn't have that energy. Yeah, yeah, right. Check this out. Yeah, what? 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 I'm telling you, you lay any type of hands on my brother, bro. I will shot you on camera. I won't give a fuck about nothing, about nothing else. Man, you with a butt show line. All that fake OG yeah, shit, bro. All that fake. Bro, you big homie, so Paru. Nigga don't care about all that shit. Respect all that shit, but all that. All that fake OG shit, bro. I ain't no know no all that, bro. Somebody, what you gonna slap him, man? You top the line with all that. That kind of bothered me. I, I wasn't even gonna do that type of shit. I swear I went. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I, I, I swear I went in on that, but I just in my head, cause it don't, we don't do this type of shit. I ain't never seen, bro. That man been rapping 10 years now. 10, 8, 9 years now. Now, one time I ever seen this man get on the internet, arguing on the phone, arguing on live. I ain't never seen him do none of that shit. But this big grown that fake ass OG ass. I'm gonna argue with him. Because of shit he instigated. He just wasn't smelling that shit. He just telling you how he felt. Shit, lying. You agreeing with a rap. Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, your boy 21, Little Harold. Uh, versus WAC 100 and 21 Lil Harold for y'all that don't know he's actually 21 Savage Lil Brother now I've been hearing a lot of people say uh, 21 Savage Brother his brother y'all don't really know his name but get familiar that's 21 Lil Harold he actually got some I mean pretty dope music um, and yeah man um, he decided to jump into this whole feud back and forth thing with 21 Savage and WAC 100 he made a couple good points even though he's young um, like I said, I still think he made a couple good points And The whole situation with Wack, man uh, I think Wack went off the deep end, man He always You know Wack, he always gotta make some type of off the wall statement um, I don't know he, he moved like he got president security around him But then again, you never see Wack 100 out and about Like catching him out and about uh, As of lately With all this trolling going on So who knows what he I don't know Anyway now I expressed my opinion before on this matter as I did a video on this prior in regards to 21 and WAC 100 arguing. Uh, this be pretty much stemmed from 21 giving his opinion on WAC doing an interview with 6ix9ine and he stated that quote, no real gangster should ever be sitting down talking with a rat. Simple. And I must agree with him on that, man. I don't care if it was an interview. I don't care if he just wanted to say something, hear his point. Look into his eyes like he said I don't care about none of that Nothing Those are two worlds that just don't coincide with each other And for Wack to be this street legend that he claims himself to be The big homie of blood and all that It's no way out of all people that he should be there doing anything with 6 9 Now I can understand that you probably had your own media company or something or you want to put something together with 6 9 and you send them and see I can't even see that because like I said these these worlds do not coincide with each other like they don't coexist with each other like if you a gangster you out there doing this at the end of the day you are not supposed to be in any type of circumference of a rat because nine times out of ten you know that a rat probably put your mans away a rat probably snitched on somebody that's close to you Whatever the case may be, but a snitch is always detrimental to any type of gangster involved in the streets. Now, even if, if it's for business, all right, because I've seen people in the comments say, oh, it was a business move. They always try to give somebody some type of leniency as to why they doing the wrong thing, man. It's like a lot of class, a lot of morals, a lot of principles is just gone. There's no more code of the streets, no more ethics, no more nothing. All right. Now, granted, I understand 
that if it was a business move but if that's the case then you have to cut all the gang stuff out and be a normal human being what's so hard with being regular i don't get it everybody wants to be this tough guy everybody wants to be this street gangster everybody got to be tough these days but let me show you the difference right you got big U. he's a very uh well-known respected og straight from the west he don't play the internet games no nothing now as much as he has reformed himself and he always speak about it you know how he been to jail he reformed he calmed down i couldn't see big U, him himself having any type of dealings with 6ix9ine whatsoever all right and you know why because their lifestyles just don't coincide with each other's man and it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of discouraging man, as a culture to see what's going on because it's seeming like all the wrong things are actually being okay I, I i can't even find no other type of word for it it's like we vouching for people that's doing the wrong thing and making excuses of why we vouch for it there's no no excuse why a man snitched i don't care whatever they did with his baby mother i don't care whatever they did to him you handle the street things according to the streets i always say that i don't care if they kidnapped you whatever they did it does not make sense for you to sit there and take it and put it in the law uh the, the police hands the, the courtroom hands and sit there and point people out and say he did this he did this he did that and get them locked up but that's if you are part of the streets now if you're a regular civilian that's totally different totally different these rules these these codes whatever it is do not apply to anybody that's not in the street but that's the difference and this is why we here today talking about whack 100 now if y'all remember a little time back when little dirk went live and said that someone from uh six nine management team offered to pay him just to act like him and six nine really beefing with each other and then he turned him down right i'm wondering if whack 100 is being paid to help troll and keep six nine relevant as well because you know it's like things just aren't adding up for why whack is sitting here doing the things that he's doing man um interviewing him uh he's been he's actually been quote unquote like kind of supporting him throughout his whole little whatever it was he was you know when he got caught up with the snitching thing for uh, the first time he's sitting there saying just keep making excuses for him and, and, and saying yo the dude shouldn't have did this they shouldn't have did that six nine is okay when he come back he gonna make this millions six nine it seems like he always gotta go left when everybody's going right he has to go left he's like one of them, 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 them friends that always gotta have a rebuttal for something that always want to argue and debate and always go left when everybody going right just just for the attention you see what i'm saying it's like it's trolling man now, as far as 21 Savage's little brother goes, he has the right to feel the way he feels about his big brother and seeing how Wack 100 was acting towards his big bro. And he was explaining the reason 21 wasn't saying much because people mix the fact that 21 wasn't speaking back as much as Wack as 21 being scared of something. But his brother was saying that in all reality, that's just how his brother is. That's how 21 Savage is. He may not speak much or have the energy to go back and forth with Wack and play them type of games because that's just not him but don't take it for weakness you see what i'm saying whereas whack 100 this is what he does you see what i'm saying he trolls he wishes to get a response out of people and i think that's just what he was trying to do um with 21 savage this is why i was kind of upset with 21 savage because i don't even know why he went up there why he participated in that clubhouse why he was even in that room it made no sense for him to be even being there you see what I'm saying? We all know 6 ix 9 is a snitch. It's no reason we need to talk to him. It's no reason we need to be in the same room. You see what I'm saying? If that's how you feel about him being a snitch, you don't need to be around him or even communicate with him. Simple. So like I said, I was kind of surprised, man. Like he was even responding. Because 21 is smarter than that. But sometimes you got to understand, man, the people who, who's so annoying and purposely try to tick you off just so they could push certain buttons, that's what they do they, they they get it out of you sometime man we all human so it happens to the best of us you know and then whack talking about he's gonna smack him and all that see that's where he took it to left man first off i don't know anybody that's gonna sit there and let you say that you're gonna smack them and just be okay with it all right whack loves trolling and causing rappers to get out of character that's how he stays relevant 
And 21 Little Brother, he actually brought up a good point where he said this. He said, when you go search WAC 100 name, you know, you go to Google or whatever, the only thing that comes up is a bunch of arguments, man. And it's true. Go on YouTube right now and type in WAC 100 name. All you see is a bunch of clips of him. He either arguing with somebody on, on live or he's speaking about somebody on live, man. It's never nothing positive. It's always something with him going against the grain about some arguing, debating. He done got into it with numerous of people. This is why I don't even understand why people respond to him as well. I think he should get the 6 9 treatment just as much. Let's not forget, he's a manager that seems to just always got something to say, man. Instead of worrying about his artists, instead of worrying about Blueface. I don't even think he's his artist, um, his, his artist anymore. I don't know. Game, all of them. You see what I'm saying? And to be honest with you, I believe personally, Wack 100 uses he used that OG card a lot to flex his muscle and think that because he's a big homie, he could say or do as he please. But a lot of people ain't gonna stand for that, man. And it's kind of like a conflict of interest between Wack and um 21 Savage because y'all gotta remember, uh, as much as a troll or whatever you wanna call Wack. He is a big homie of a blood set. And um, 21, you know, he's a part of that. He's a part of that life as well, the blood life as well. So, like, how does that work? Do they square up? Uh, do they, you know, I don't know how it works. Do they actually see each other or whatever? They sit down. I don't know how it works, man. Somebody that got any knowledge with that game culture, please inform me in the comments. Let me know how it works, man. But aside from all that, Wack got to cut it out. You know, let the little let let the little guys have it, man. You know, let the youngest have it. I I think he's just trying to stay relevant how he however he can. But that ain't it. If you want to interview somebody, interview somebody else. Do something else, but don't troll. Tell somebody you're gonna smack them in the face. Tell somebody when you see them, you they ain't do this. Come on, cause what other response do you expect to get when you tell somebody that? All right. So like I said, man, y'all let me know how y'all feel about this in the comments. Was rap uh, whack wrong? For interviewing 6 9 Or was Wack wrong for saying that he gonna smack 21 Savage when you see him Or was 21 Savage brother wrong Or for sticking up Let me know y'all feel in the comments below man Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content And remember As long as you keep on watching I'm gonna keep on dropping And I'm out